Welcome to Sunrise Meditations on the beautiful and serene Enders Island. Today is Friday of the second week of Easter and I'm your host, Deacon Francis Valier. Alexio Divina is from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 6, verses 1 through 15. Let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, who for the salvation of the world brought about the Paschal sacrifice, be favorable to the supplications of your people, so that Christ, our High Priest, interceding on our behalf, may by his likeness to ourselves bring us reconciliation, and by his equality with you free us from our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. And now let us listen and attend to our gospel passage. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. O oh, glory to you, O oh Lord. Jesus went across the Sea of Galilee. A large crowd followed him because they saw the signs that he was performing on the sick. Jesus went up on the mountain and there sat down with his disciples. The Jewish feast of Passover was near. When Jesus raised his eyes and saw that a large crowd was coming to him, he said to Philip, where can we buy enough food for them to eat? He said this to test him because he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, 200 days wages worth of food would not be enough for each of them to have a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, said to him, there is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish. But what good are these for so many? Jesus said, have the people recline. Now there was a great deal of grass in that place. So the men reclined about 5,000 in number. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks, and distributed them to those who were reclining, and also as much of the fish as they wanted. When they had had their fill, he said to his disciples, gather the fragments left over, so that nothing will be wasted. So they collected them and filled 12 wicker baskets with fragments from the five barley loaves that had been more than they could eat. When they saw the sign he had done, they said, this is truly the prophet, the one who is to come into the world. Since Jesus knew that they were going to come and carry him off to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain alone. The Gospel of the Lord. All praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's Gospel reading, according to St. John, as Jesus crosses over the Sea of Galilee, a large crowd follows him along the shore. The crowd's motive, of course, is pursuing Jesus because of the signs that they saw that he was performing for the sick. All the miracles, all the cures. Jesus goes up the mountain and sits down with his disciples and seeing the vast crowd approaching, he sort of teasingly asks Philip, where shall we buy bread for these people to eat? If Philip had any insight into who Jesus really was, he might have given a different answer. As it was, he sees no solution. So he says, not even with 200 days wages, could we buy enough loaves to give each of them just a mouthful? Then Andrew, Peter's brother, mentions a small boy who has five barley loaves and a couple of dried fish. Barley bread was the food of the poor. Obviously, that would not go very far, but in fact, that's all that Jesus needed. Five loaves and two fish. Jesus now gets all the people, 5,000 men, that's not counting women and children, who were more than likely there, to sit down on the grass. Then, in a ritual 
reminiscent of the Eucharist, Jesus, what does the scripture tell us? Took the loaves of bread and gave thanks over them. And then passed them around to those reclining there. All had enough and more than enough to satisfy their hunger. And so the disciples are instructed to gather up all that is left over. And they fill 12 wicker baskets. And that's from five barley loaves and two fish. The Jews regarded bread as a gift of God, and it was required that any scraps that fell to the ground should be picked up. Do we see all the abundant food that we have here in the United States as a gift from God and not to be wasted, but rather shared? How wasteful have we become as a society and as individuals? The crowd became excited at the sign that they had witnessed, and so they're muttering, this is undoubtedly the prophet who has come into the world. Of course, Jesus, realizing that they wanted to take him away as their leader, fled to the mountain alone. Jesus had come to win over the people to himself as Messiah and Lord. And here was a glorious opportunity when the people were literally eating out of his hand. But Jesus knew that this was not the way he was to become king, nor was he to become the kind of king that these people wanted him to be. So he fled. The time for establishing his own kind of kingship would come later on. We too sometimes can be tempted to take steps which seem at first sight to bring people to Christ but on reflection, these steps may be short-sighted and lead to results which are far from the gospel vision. Some steps we take tend to lead people to ourselves rather than to God. All these things are something for us to ponder as we reread the scripture passage. So concentrate on a thought that comes to you as you reread, either through a verse or even just a small word that touches you and ask the Holy Spirit to show you how it pertains to you so that you may grow spiritually closer to him in friendship. Let us complete our divine reading now with a closing prayer. And let us pray. Having contemplated your divine word and embraced the sacred truths you teach us, complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy and graciously perfect and sustain us so that in all things we may please you through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord Jesus be upon you always and in all ways. And may his generous blessings fill your day with joy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You know, if you enjoy listening to these daily meditations and haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button and help support our channel. And also pass along the links to your felt friends and relatives as well. God bless you all and have a great day.